Bes was a widely worshipped deity in ancient Egypt. His name means cat in the Nubian language in Upper Egypt, perhaps because he was originally seen as a cat standing on his hind legs. More likely, he was always seen as a dwarf with the strength and power of a cat. He is represented as a dwarf with large head, goggle eyes, protruding tongue, bull legs, bushy tail, and usually a crown of feathers. The god's figure was that of a grotesque mountebank who was intended to inspire joy or drive away pain and sorrow. His unruly beard, lion's mask, loud instruments, and wild dancing were all thought to drive away any evil spirits that attempted to infiltrate the house. As such, Bess was thought to be the protector of children and pregnant women. Ancient Egyptians, especially mothers, believed that if a baby laughed for no apparent reason, it was likely that Bess was in the room. Consequently, depictions of him were frequently seen in the bedrooms of ancient Egyptian houses. In the Ptolemaic period of Egyptian history, temple construction included chambers with painted images of Bess and his wife, Besset. Egyptologists say that these chambers were built for the purpose of curing fertility problems or general healing rituals. Having no temple of his own, worship of Bess happened at household shrines. Images of the deity, quite different from those of the other gods, were kept in homes. His image adorns many household objects to invoke his protection. Bess was often carved onto furniture, especially beds, to protect people, especially children, from evil spirits or ghosts which might come in the night. Additionally, many ancient Egyptian cups or vessels were fashioned in the form of Bess's head. It was believed that the liquid contained within these cups would acquire the healing properties of Bess and, as such, were often used for medicinal practices. Bess also came to symbolize the good things in life, music, dance, and sexual pleasure. In the New Kingdom, tattoos of Bess could be found on the thighs of dancers and musicians. Many instances of Bess masks and costumes from the New Kingdom and later have been uncovered. Like many Egyptian gods, the worship of Bess and Besset was exported overseas. While the female variant had been more popular in Minoan Crete, the male version would prove popular with the Phoenicians and the ancient Cypriots. The Balearic island of Ibiza derives its name from the god's name brought along with the first Phoenician settlers in 654 BC. Initially a protector of the pharaoh, Bess became the god of the people, looking after their homes and their children. He was a multifaceted god who was a serious protector and a merry entertainer.
To Bess, grantor of all that is good, I offer my praise. Guardian of the threshold, ever welcome in the home. Bess, who is the protector of women, the champion of children, the easer of birthing pains. In every household you reside, to every heart you bring comfort. O oh, Bess, who wards away the wicked, you are the friend of the family, the shelter of the helpless, the shield of the defenseless. In times of fear and dread, you grant us courage. In times of sorrow and despair, you are our solace. Dispeller of evil and all that is ill, you are as well a bringer of joy and merriment. Yours are the pleasures of music and dance, O oh God. Yours, too, are the delights of the bedchamber. O oh, Bess, I thank you for your many gifts. I pray for your favor. O oh, Bess, I thank you for your many gifts. I pray for your favor.